Hey, I am Lauren. I wanted to do a review on my skincare routine and I think it's really important that I share it because um, I've had really bad acne on and off since the time I was 15 so um, it's been a long time and I really feel like since I've gotten it clear this time that I should share how I did that. I think it's people who have acne will do almost anything to to figure out what would clear it up so um, I think it's an injustice if I don't share my holy grail of products right now so I use a lot of uh, lush things in my skincare almost all lush um, and like for me trying a new uh, skincare line you go into it thinking like ah, okay I'll just try it just because I haven't tried it why not um, what could it hurt because my skin's so messed up anyway um, but now that my skin's so clear compared to how it was, it's like awesome. It's amazing. So let's get started. Um, I first started out using Fresh Pharmacy from Lush, and it looks like this. If I can get it out. It's like this pink bar. Um, comes in a thing that looks like a huge flower petal, and they like chop you off a petal or to however much you want. Um, this is has chamomile in it. It's supposed to calm your skin. It's awesome. It is a little bit drying though so better for oily skins um, than it is for other for I guess dry to normal. Okay so if you have dry to normal skin I would then recommend this Aquamarina. It also has chamomile mine. can't say whatever um, in it as well. And it looks like a seaweed roll in the beginning. Right now it's just a bunch of mush, barely any left. Um, and I use that for my like drier days. I have allergies so my skin kind of goes through cycles because um, I'm naturally super oily. But um, there are times when my skin's really irritated and it will need something more calming for my skin. And that works really well. Um, before that I used the Herbalism. And it's that green, really bright green stuff that smells like grass. Like you mowed the lawn with some other green vegetables. I don't know. It smells really weird. Um, but it's it was so good for my skin. Um, yeah, awesome. So then I also started using the Lush Cosmetic Warrior. Put this in view. Probably it's backwards. Sorry. Um, and it's a face fresh face mask. Fresh face mask. Um, and I used it all up. It's all gone. I've used like three of these. Um, pretty much I go through one every three and a half weeks. I'll get another one. Um, and this is probably what has turned around my skin the most. Um, it's has supposedly, it has a lot of garlic in it, so it's supposed to smell really garlicky. I don't mind it. I don't really notice it. It smells more like grapey to me because they have it has white grapes in there you can smell a little bit of it still in there um yeah it does smell like garlic but it's not that bad if you hate garlic not good for you but hey cleans up your skin right um so wash your face oh yeah here's a good thing tip that i learned if you're if you wear makeup um always take your Use a makeup remover. Don't use your skincare. For example, I found out that if you are using Proactive and you don't take off your makeup first, it actually deposits the makeup deep into your pores because that's what the medicine is supposed to do that's in Proactive. So, um, and I think it pretty much goes along with any skincare wash directed towards acne that you use. Um, it's trying to get deep into your pores, so if you don't take your makeup off, you're just shoving something cleanser, cleanser that's trying to get deep into your pores. It's going to take the makeup with it and the dirt and oil with it that's in the makeup. Kind of a, a good thing to know, right? Um, so I use coconut oil from Trader Joe's up until today. I just got some new stuff. Um, works really well. I just... Get a glob of coconut oil, smother it all over my face, massage it a little bit, and then use um, a hot wash rag, wipe it off, 
or if I'm in the shower, just rinse it off, whatever. Um, then I wash my face with the either the Fresh Pharmacy, the Herbalism, or the Aquamarina. Um, and then after that, once I get out of the shower or done wiping off the face wash, I use a breath of fresh air toner. And it's really good to use a toner to just make sure that you've gotten all of the cleanser off your face. You don't have any residue on your face. Um, and also just to make sure you don't have any makeup, like residue makeup left on your face. And um, I recommend this one because it didn't break my skin out. Again, I have really sensitive skin, something to watch out for. A lot of other toners will have a lot of harsh products in them um, or alcohols in them. And um, so it's like, just try it. Okay. Um, then after that, I have started using Grease Lightning on the Holy Grail for acne. Um, it is a tea tree clean cleanser. That's what it says. It's a spot treatment, but I use it all over my face and I am just got a new one today. I'm completely out of this and I have to say I haven't gotten a new pimple in the same night that I've worn this. So just take that. Think about it. If I wear that, maybe I won't get a pimple. Hmm, I don't know. Okay, so I also have some Pretty Bad Acne Stars. You can kind of see them. I'm not really wearing that much makeup. I don't like to wear makeup. Um, I only do because of my acne. And um, I use, you can see it, Mederma Scar Cream to um, diminish the look of the darkness of the pigment of my acne scars. And let me tell you, it's like 70% better just from two weeks of using this. So um, I would definitely recommend getting a Mederma Scar Cream. And yes, I do use it on my face, even though it's not directed towards using it on your face. But oh well, it works. And then for me also, going along with acne scars, I use the Age Shield Face from Neutrogena. Also, I love Neutrogena because I found about 80% of their products that I have used do not break me out. So um, I'm more likely to try this Neutrogena, this brand, than other drugstore brands just because I've had a better luck with them. And anyway, this is um, 110 SPF broad spectrum. And... Again, it hasn't broken me out. And so this has, I think this along with using the scar cream has really helped keep away new pigmentation from happening and making the old fade away. So I'm really thankful for um, the new routine that I found. It does really work for me and I'm really happy. Oh, one last thing. I use... To, I actually mix these two together. Um, this is from Trader Joe's. It's the oil-free antioxidant facial moisturizer. Um, it says it's good for all skin types. Um, probably if you have really dry skin, I don't think it would be... You'd have to use it like a couple times a day. Um, I think you would need something a little bit more substantial. But um, from normal to oily, it doesn't irritate my skin at all. And it doesn't leave me super greasy. So that's something to be thankful for um and it just doesn't break me out and it's super cheap from because it's from Trader Joe's I don't remember exactly how much it is but it's definitely under ten dollars so just think about that um and the combination of everything here together has really cleared up my skin and I am so thankful for just happening upon trying everything from Lush so just wanted to say you should try it out there and I hope to hear that you guys have the same luck with it as I do.